So I was going to kick this off asking for comments in the uh, YouTube lovely comment section below about which one's the master and which one's the apprentice, but I think we all know who the master and the apprentice really is, don't we? Hello and welcome to another results focused episode of Unlimited Power TCG and the UK Metagame. We'll start off as we always do with a brief look into the upcoming major UK events and significant dates uh, covering for the rest of the year that we've got so far. Next weekend is going to be the uh, UKTC London GT. They're going to be running two one day events, on the, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, uh, 1K events. Uh, we don't know what size they're currently looking to be, but their capacity is enormous, and we know from their Leicester event a few weeks ago that they run an incredibly tight ship, so I'm sure that will go very well, well indeed. We are about halfway through the store showdown season for Shadows of the Galaxy Set 2. There's been quite a few of them this weekend, uh, and there's quite a few still to go, which we're just showing on these slides here. Um, as I've said previously, these dates are subject to change. These were... Uh, dates that were made a few weeks ago, maybe over a month or so ago now, when this list was initially put together. So they might have changed if you're intending to attend one of these and haven't already booked and been in contact with the venue. Do get in touch to make sure that the one you want to attend is still running when you think it's going to be running. Following the store showdowns will be the three planetary qualifiers being held in the UK for Set 2 Shadows of the Galaxy, one at Patriot Games in Sheffield, one at Firestorm Games in Cardiff and one at Mox in the Hole in Edinburgh. And then following those events in October, we've got the uh, Spark Rebellion reprint restock due around the nebulous time holidays 2024, which we don't know exactly when that will be, but that is approximately like peak uh, holiday Christmas season-ish. So, I don't know, October, November, December, maybe January. I'm not entirely sure when that is supposed to go, but that's what we've been told. Oh, excuse me. Friday 1st through Sunday 3rd of November is the date for the Twilight of the Republic set 3 pre-releases. We've recently been told that uh, stores running the pre-releases will be able to sell boosters from that Friday the 1st in store, so uh, a week earlier than previously available. And if you're ordering online, uh, those online shippers will be able to send you their stock uh, that you've ordered so that it will arrive with you on Friday the 8th of November and no earlier. So uh, I'm sure that's a good attempt to help support your local, friendly local gaming store, which is a positive thing you should do. Oh, excuse me again. Moving on from there, we've got the uh, tournament results that we've got for events that have taken place this weekend. I've got four sets of events results for you here and now today. We There are a few more events that have taken place. Uh, I know that a friend of mine took second place with an Afro deck, but I don't know anything more about that or which event he attended. So uh, unfortunately, that's been left off this one. Steve, make sure you tell me the results in full next time if you want to get shouted out, although you've been shouted out anyway, so... Clearly, you don't need to do all these things. Um, Board Game Hut in South End ran their store showdown for Set 2 Shadows of the Galaxy yesterday, Saturday, 21st September, as of time of filming. They had 12 players. It was won by a Kira Tarkintown deck. Second place was taken by a Ray Tarkintown deck. Third and fourth, I'm not sure which way around they were, it was a Bosk ECL and another Ray Tarkintown deck, which is uh, a bit of a strange meta because when you look at the rest of the field down there below there is not a single boba deck being run at this store showdown what not a single boba wow that's um interesting not sure what it says but it's definitely interesting Second event I've got to report on is Spellbound in London. Uh, I was there myself, it was great, although driving into London was less great and driving out of London was definitely less great on a Saturday night. Don't want to do that again in a hurry. Um, unfortunately, Spellbound is a wonderful store run by an equally wonderful bloke. Hung, you've put a great store together. Chops on you, mate. An absolutely uh, brilliant place. I met Hung for the first time at uh, Dragon Meat in November, December, one of the two, 2023, last year, uh, which was one of the first places doing demo games of Star Wars Unlimited, and we went to go and get uh, the lovely shiny hyperspace Luke 
and Vader promos, and that's where we also met Rosaldo, who uh, features in this top eight list. So let's get away from my stupid little meanderings and on to the results that I assume you're here to hear. Uh, the event was taken down by Yeho Serra, a.k.a. Josh, who ran Hard One Cunning. Um, you may know Josh as who won the um, uh, Manchester, the OP Manchester game uh, event a couple of weeks ago that was 175 odd people with his 54 card Boba command deck. Um, he's done it again with Hard One Cunning here. Uh, I played him and he absolutely ripped me to pieces with the DJ Tech combo. I managed to take out Tech, but I didn't manage to take out DJ in time, so that kind of sealed the game, really. Second place uh, was Vader Command, run by Diamond Geezer. Third place, uh, Boba Command deck by Jim Wills. Uh, fourth was a Ray Tarkin Town deck, run by Penfold1000. I know the names of all these people. I'd say I know the names. They all got read out, and I played uh, quite a few of them throughout the uh, event. But I am absolutely awful at people's names, so uh, please don't take it personally. Uh, this just in one ear and out the other, um, unless I make notes, and I did not make notes because there was a lot going on at that particular time. Anyway, excuses. Uh, fifth to eighth place, Ray Aggression was run by Tom K. Clancy. Uh, Rosaldo took uh, sixth place with Boba Cunning, uh, the same deck he ran at the TTI Invitational Tournament a few weeks ago, uh, where he placed top out of all the Swiss players and then got knocked out in the first round of the top cut. Uh, still an incredible achievement. Well done, Ross. Uh, seventh place was a Han 2 ECL deck uh, run by Der W. Der W? How do I, uh, yeah, I've got to pronounce that Der W. I can't really pronounce it any other way. And eighth place uh, was my little pet Moff Gideon Blue deck, which I've been uh, tinkering around with and running to see if there's any fun to be had out of it. And there is some fun to be had about it, so uh, that's a good thing. I've got a little. I've got a couple of deck lists here. The first deck list is Yeho Sarah's deck list, which I've stolen completely shamelessly from his uh, Facebook blog that he runs. So this was the winning list at Spellbound. Take a gander at that. Uh, Josh runs it incredibly well, as you would probably not be surprised to learn. And it was pretty brutal to face. But uh, let's face it, I wasn't exactly running a meta deck either. But then again, I'm not going to take away from Josh's victory. Uh, this was my deck that I was running. Uh, I'm going to be changing a few things in it before I play it again. I'm don't think, uh, well, I think maybe, maybe we'll do a video on this and go through my thoughts and what, why everything's in there and how it all was to play so as not to take up too much more time on this video because I'm sure you didn't all come here to see a video about Moff Gideon. The third event I have to report on was Harlequins in Preston, which had 23 players, was run yesterday. Uh, again, as of time of filming, was taken down by uh, Gollum. Uh, Harm to Vigilance took first place, second place, and third or fourth. I'm not sure which way around they were, because that was just that third and fourth were uh, in there. Uh, and the other one was Iden Command. So I can't help but wonder if this is a reaction to Howie and his dominance in that area recently with uh, Palpatine Blue. Maybe the local meta has reacted to try uh, and keep him out of the top spot here. I see there's Palpatine Vigilance in there. I'm not sure how he attended, but uh, it's reasonable to assume that he did. You can take a look there and see what the rest of the field was, but um, that's definitely an interesting winning better there. So uh, congratulations, Gollum, for winning that one. Then the fourth event of the weekend I have the results for is Dice in Portsmouth. Uh, thanks, Silk, for sending me the details here on this one. Appreciated. This was run earlier today. As of time of filming, had 22 players uh, taken down by Silk or Darth Silk. Uh, running his Palpatine Vigilance deck uh, that he's appeared to have moved on from or be trying out after top eighting at the OPE Manchester event a few weeks ago. Second place, you've got a Boba Cunning deck by Dankmaster85. Third place, you've got a Boba Green deck from Chris Anderson. Fourth place, you've got a Ray Aggression deck from Vortex. Um, and then fifth through eighth, there's a Sabine ECL deck from Ian Hillman. A Palpatine Yellow deck from Amy Duff. A Jabba Aggression deck from Fancy Freddy. That's the name we've not seen before uh, this set round top eighting or coming in any kind of significant placing whatsoever. So congratulations, Fancy Freddy. Be interesting to see that deck list. Uh, and finally, another Speedy ECL rounding out the top eight there by Matt Duff. So congratulations to everybody there. Well done. 
So the meta snapshot going into next week's 1K pair of 1K events at UKTC are running down in London at the Olympic facility there. The top 60% of UK top 4, top 8 placing meta decks hasn't really changed significantly. Um, Sabine hasn't climbed up very much more highly this week. Um, there's a few more Boba Cunning decks on here than there were before. Um, Boba, Command, Hard to Vigilance, Boss Green, and Kira Green also in there. So there's a good chance that you may well be facing one of those if you're planning to do well at the UKTC event next week. And if you are, I wish you the very best of luck. The rest of the field is taken up by the um, huge mass of variety of decks that have done well across store showdowns and events for the entirety of set two here in the UK that we're aware of. Uh, obviously there's a few notable names that are not present in here in terms of leaders uh, or leader base combinations but it looks like there's a pretty broad field there. There's a very broad field so be prepared to face quite a lot of stuff but probably not Cassian, probably not Hera uh, and probably not Moff Gideon. So uh, maybe a few others that I'm not noticing at a quick glance but there we go. Anyway, that's your lot for today. Thanks very much for tuning in, as always. Uh, your audience is appreciated. Do the whole likey, subscribe, YouTube stuff thing, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Cheers.